Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bangor, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. Doctors in the house. So check this out, man. We had Liam Paro versus Subaru with tears last night, man. It's a hard day for my, my brothers and sisters out there, particularly my Puerto You know what I'm talking about? My Puerto Rican brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters out there, man. I know y'all take it hard. But, you know, Subaru with tears was a homecoming. You know, uh, he was headlining and it was a homecoming, man, in his backyard. And the Aussie boxer, Liam Paro. You know, he traveled and he was definitely the heavy underdog, man. And um, man, he went through and handled business, man. He outpointed Super Matias, who's supposed to be the boogeyman, you know. And it's so funny because I feel so silly, bro. Not because Super Matias won, but because I said that Liam Paul was going to be a problem. And I and going into when the fight was first made, I said, man, I think Liam Paul is going to win. But I will be, I, I, I will openly admit that I did not call it because going into the fight, especially during the weigh-in, I was like, oh man, no, Subaru Matias, you know, he looks like he's serious, he's focused, he's locked in, and I think that he was going to be too much for Liam Paul. And when I said that Liam Paul was going to win, I never thought he was going to win easily. I just thought, man, he might might win. And this is indicative, indicative of that. Check this out, man. Last year, yes, last year in 2023, I said that Liam Paul was going to have the most impressive 2024. Whoa, whoa. Check this out. I posted on YouTube, posted on IG, and I showed the stream yesterday. Come on, man. I called this. I said Liam Paro was going to have the biggest 2024, but I didn't expect his first match was going to be against Super Matias. <laughs> so that's why I was like, oh, no. You know, and that's, you know, that's my fault because I didn't trust my heart. I didn't trust my gut. I didn't trust my mind. <laughs> I put a lot of thought process into um, making my picks and, and, and the fighters that I like, man. And I've always liked Liam Paro, man. Shout out to Liam Paro. He did his thing, man. He, one time for Aussie boxing. You know, he had a point deducted, and he still overcame, man. He, he clearly beat Matias. I thought it was a close fight, but I thought it was a close. I don't think every close fight doesn't have a definitive winner, you know. Liam Paro won decisively in a close fight, you know. Um, Liam Paro just put on a better show. And it's just so funny because before this, before that fight, you know, Admittedly, I watched the Tank versus Frank and, and Bosdick versus Benavidez card, you know. But you know, I, I, I watched the highlights of Liam Paro Super Matias, and I caught them little bootleg, bootleg uh, uh, videos with the full fights. You know, they got the messed up angle. Yeah. But it was enough for me to catch the whole fight, you know, and seeing this in entirety. So, so yeah, man. So, um, that fight, man, Liam Paro, Liam Paro looked very good, man. Looked focused and. And he didn't get caught up in a war. Like I said, man, if he could stay out of getting caught up in the exchange like majority of Matias' uh, opponents do, he'll be all right, man. And he definitely did. I thought Matias was going to do enough to win going into it, you know. But 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 Liam Paro held it down, man. Liam Paro won. So it's a big salute to Liam Paro. He fulfilled his promise to his uh, late great um, um, friend. Um, that's number one. And number two, you know, it's so funny because before this fight, I said that Gary Antoine Russell and Super Matias would be a good fight. I made a video about it, and then Gary Antoine Russell called out Matias before his fight against Puello, which was a mistake. Oh, wow. You know, he ended up losing. But I said that this is a good fight. This is a great fight I want to see. And then uh, people were on my head in my comments talking about, oh, no, uh, Super Matias, he's too good for Gary Antoine Russell. Gary Antoine Russell doesn't deserve it. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. What? No disrespect to Super Matias, but at the time they both had a hundred percent KO rate uh, uh, between Super Matias and, and and Gary Anton Russell. Gary Anton Russell was the only one that was undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Super Matias beat everybody he stepped in the ring with because he avenged his loss against Petros Anagnian. But at the time, Gary Anton Russell was undefeated, and then they both fought. Well, Gary Anton Russell fought Victor Postal, who's a former champion, but they both fought champion level fighters. The champion level fighters that they fought, they were outside of their prime. You know what I'm saying? And if, if they fought any. So for people, it's, it's just funny that some people would say, oh, nobody wants to fight Super Matias. They'll complain about that. But then the people that want to fight him, they, they say that they're not good enough to fight him. But anyway, the fast forward, they both lost. Gary and Tom Russell and Super Matias both lost. <laughs> you know, um to uh to Alberto Puello and Liam Paro respectively. I think this is still a great fight. Gary Anton Russell it, it, assuming Gary Anton Russell doesn't pursue the immediate rematch with Alberto Puello. And I don't believe that Liam Paro and Super Matias had a rematch clause, but you never know what, what happened between them. But yeah man, I think Gary Anton Russell Super Matias is still a great fight at one forty. I still think Super Matias is a great fighter. You know what I'm saying? I still think Gary Anton Russell is a great fighter. I definitely believe, you know said Believe it by by uh my prediction and, and, and my prophecy of Liam Paul being a great fighter. You know what I'm saying? I definitely believe that wholeheartedly, even more so now. You know, and I think the 140 pound division just got shook up, man. It got shook up again. You know, so this time legitimately, Ryan Garcia. Scared of the real man. 
I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. Me blood clot. You know what I'm talking about? So I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always, man. Shout out to Liam Parra, Australia Boxing, you know. Um, they've been going through it lately, you know. Uh, George Cambosis, who's Australian, lost to um, uh, Lomachenko. Uh, Michael Zarafa, who's Australian, lost to... Uh, Arizondi Lara, uh, Liam Wilson lost to Oscar Valdez, who's Australian. You know, Li- Liam Wilson, who's Australian, lost to Oscar Valdez. So, and, and then Tim Zhu, who's Australian, lost to Sebastian Fedora. So they've been struggling a lot when it comes to the men's championship level fights. But, you know, Jay Opatai won his fight. He's Australian. And then now Liam Parr won his fight. And then also um, the women held it down, too. Uh, well, the woman, uh, Sky Nicholson, she did beat. Uh, Sarah Mafu, she's Australian. Uh, Sky News is Australian. So, what type of Australian? Aussie boxing, man. Um, big up to Liam Power. I'm so happy for him. You know what I'm talking about? And Super Matias, keep your head up high, man. He'll bounce back. You know what I'm talking about? So, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all be easy. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we have nothing. Take care. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.